Ooh, doesn't that look relaxing? Well, today's episode is all about relaxing and doing some projects that are fun and beachy and just a great way to enjoy your afternoon and you can plan a day at the beach. So let's get started on my wonderful fun episode of Let's Go to the Beach and let me introduce myself. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you'd click and subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or even a comment. So don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. All right, to get us started, I'm actually not going to show you a craft. I'm going to show you one that I already did before I had YouTube. I started my YouTube channel in September of 2020, and I created this back in June and July of 2020. So I hadn't done really or hadn't started my YouTube channel, but I created this. I found some wood in the trash. Oh, yes. And I created this little anchor because that's when I kind of started watching all of the YouTube videos and crafting. And I just sketched out a little anchor and then hot glued all the little jewels on there. And I also created this garland. I used a fishing line and then I just hot glued and I put E6000 on there to uh, uh, create that. And then I tied little twine in between each bead. I also just wanted to show you a couple of pieces that I got at Hobby Lobby that I always put out right after 4th of July. After all that's done, I put out um, my nautical stuff, my ocean stuff. And these are really heavy metal iron pieces that I just had to show you. You'll see them in some of the displays. And um, I just love them. I got them for like, I don't know, 80% off. I couldn't believe anybody didn't want to buy them. But anyway, these are some pieces that I did before I had YouTube. And they're really easy to put together. And so I hope that you can get these beads at Dollar Tree. Um, I always see these colors and so you can create your own anchor anchor and garland and this was when I had put it up above one of my um, armoires uh, for summer last year enjoy okay here we go on our actual first project it's called beautiful beach scene oh yeah we're gonna have some fun here so you're gonna need um, some tower blocks some uh, shells and some of these cool rub-on transfers that I found with all different kinds of words and also I'm using my iPad to find sort of a beach scene that I like just with water and sand and sky and so I'm gonna be using that sort of as a guide to help me paint now I'm using these little square uh, wood slats that I got at on Amazon I'll link those down below I can never find them at Dollar Tree never even the like rectangular ones never ever ever have I ever found them so I got mad and had to just order them from Amazon and I got a bunch of them so I will have that in the link down below so anyway I've got nine pieces and I'm using the tower box to sort of put them all together and now ta-da I love how it looks so we have this beautiful little square piece as a canvas for our beach scene so now I'm getting all of my colors ready I've got um, Ooh, I can't remember all those names I will link those down below I think ones like peacock and sand something I don't know but I'll link those colors down below but any kind of tropical blue turquoise that you like and so we're just gonna start I'm using one of the little chippy brushes from Dollar Tree and so we're starting kind of in the middle with some darker blue now I want you to not be afraid of trying this if you want to try it on a piece of paper first but it truly is so much fun just um, using these little colors I mean you put them all together and it looks like a beach on the top part I'm kind of using circular motions and just lightly blending it and I forgot to tell you I did use a little bit of water 
uh, to sort of thin it out a little bit. And so we're just gonna kind of swirl it around. I mean, just using your brush makes it look like a sky and the darker blue looks like the water. I didn't like color it all the way in. And so now I've just touched on some white and I'm using some swirly motions to uh, add some clouds. And again, don't be afraid, just give it a try. If you don't like it, then grab some paint, cover over it and try again. I just think it's fun to sit back, relax and see what you come up with. So I think the clouds are working great with that brush and then we're going to work on the sand. It's kind of like painting with a twist, so I hope you're doing it with me. <laughs> And so I'm blending in those two kind of beigey colors to make the sand. And now I'm using one of these Dollar Tree little um, brushes. And we're going to kind of blend the water with the sand to make kind of like the foamy stuff that you see. And again, I'm just using some swirly motions. I didn't like that white, so I just grabbed some more tan and just kind of blended that all in. It just comes, I, I, it's just amazing how it comes together and you're like, ah, that's a beach scene. How easy is that? I think this is one of the easiest things you'll ever paint in your life because it's just basically blending and throwing it in and everything like that. So <laughs> I love working with this. It was so relaxing. Oh, and you're just like, I can't believe I did that. Oh my goodness. So now I'm taking a little bit of white on that Dollar Tree brush and I'm making sort of little peaks out in the water. I just kind of went up and down, up and down, and just kind of scattered those around and it looks like little waves. I mean, isn't that amazing how just a little sort of pointy peak makes it look like waves? Yes, I'm so excited about how this turned out. And yours is gonna be just as good, let me tell ya. Woohoo! So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to find just one word that I like for this beach scene. I hope you can find this at Dollar Tree. I think it's fairly new, um, but it was so hard to pick out. You could do three words or whatever, however you want to do it. Oh, and I got this little scraper thingy uh, at Dollar Tree. That's new. So I just picked up the one that said dream on it. And we are going to rub that on because it's a rub on transfer. And so we are going to rub that on and then we're going to be adding some shells uh, around that word. I was almost picked adventure and there's memories on that piece of paper. Uh, you can even use a, your Cricut machine. Now the D was a little, it kind of, there was a couple of pieces on there that didn't come out on that D. So I just grabbed my little teeny fine point Sharpie and just filled that in and fixed it up. So I'm going to be adding some shells in the corner and then this project is done. And here you go. What do you think? Oh, I love it. It is sitting on my shelf right now. I am so excited that I gave this a try. And um, those shells, I don't know if I mentioned, but those came from Dollar Tree. So everything here pretty much came from Dollar Tree. Oh, well, the paint didn't. Oh, and the squares didn't. <laughs> but anyway, this is so gorgeous, especially at night. I put a little candle there. Ooh, it's so relaxing. Can't you just imagine yourself sitting in your chair and listening to the waves? Such a great, great fun project. I hope that you can grab all your materials and get started today. Moving right along to our next project is called Relaxing 
wreath. And so I'm using one of the relax words from Dollar Tree, the new metal words, and some nautical ropes, some shells, and one of these, I guess you call them the straw wreaths from Dollar Tree. So everything's from Dollar Tree. And I'm using some nautical rope and I put it around about four times and on four uh, parts of the wreath, like 10, no, 12, what is it? 12, three, six, and nine. <laughs> and um, you can put it however you want. And you could even color or paint this wreath a little bit if you wanted to maybe add some blue. You could just kind of use your chippy brush and put it around. You could paint it white. I just liked the natural color, so I left it like that. And now I'm just taking my rope and kind of going all around it, just kind of every any which way it fit. And we're hot gluing that right on. That is coming along nicely. And now it's time to add our word. The one thing I don't like about those uh, galvanized words, they have holes in them and not every time do I wanna hang it. So uh, I am gonna be adding some shells all around the bottom. So I thought, why couldn't we just uh, hide that little hole, the little holes up at the top? So I used the little shells to add that on and I think it worked out perfectly. What do you think? And uh, so I just kept adding that in there and on there and any which way, and it's done. But I did want to add just a little bit of color. I know I said I wanted to keep it kind of neutral, but I did want to add just a little bit of color. And so I love turquoise in the summer. And I just made this crazy bow. <laughs> okay, so this ribbon is from Dollar Tree. We always see it. They usually have it. It's kind of that turqu turquoise burlap. And so I just flipped it over and then I just cut the, the um, loop part. And then I opened it up and cut the little loops inside and just kind of made it go crazy. And then we stuck it right in there. I liked it because it just was, you know, just kind of beachy. I don't know. I just was playing around with the bow and I, I don't really want a simple bow. I just wanted like a crazy bow. So here it is. What do you think? I love that little touch of turquoise. And if you notice there that can of sticks and kind of beach uh, wood. I made that in a 60 second video and I have it linked down below so you can see how I did that. And so I just love this relaxing breathe. It makes me want to relax. I am so excited about this one. It's called Salty But Sweet. I found this adorable bag at Dollar Tree. I found it just recently so I know you can find it, hopefully. And I got a board, um, any board that you have, it will work great. And I also got those little stickers. I'll show you those a little bit later. And so all I'm doing is just giving this a quick one coat whitewash with a chippy brush. And I don't really wanna, I mean, I'm covering it mostly, but not really. I mean, on the edges um, are pretty good. <laughs> and so now I'm, I just think, uh-oh, I got a little spot on there, but that's okay. This bag is so adorable. I was kind of dying because I had to cut it. And I just think it would be so cute for if you have kids to take it and they can put their shells in there because it's burlap and all the water and sand will come out of it. And I just love this. I may go back and get one just to have it. It's so cute. So anyway, I cut this out and, and I love burlap. And so I just took my tweezers and pulled out some of the pieces to kind of make it raggedy on the ends. And um, I, use, I can use that other blue burlap for something else. I know it's gonna come up some, with something. And so there's my little piece. And um, we're going to be adding that now to the board. And so I'm just positioning that on there. And these are some of the stickers. 
I guess they're kind of nautical, kind of, um, I don't know, early age kind of type stickers. I love them. And I'm using the one that looks kind of like a flower. Well, I don't know, it's not a flower. I don't know, it's just a real pretty little um, design. And so I'm going to be just, I just put those on there and I'm gonna hot glue them down. And now I'm going to sort of make some fake holes through the board because I didn't want to drill in the board. And um, I, I do use my flame a lot when you're using rope. It has those little extra hairs on it. We won't get rid of those. So I'm cutting down on the back of it, kind of making it flat. And then we'll hot glue those on there and it looks like it's going through the board. Ooh, a magic trick. And then we're gonna add some rope to the back and this little project will be complete. And here is the final project all complete. I love it. I love the white and blue together. Oh, it is so cute. You have to get that bag. You just have to. And I'm going back to get another one. I just think it's so cute. And I love that that um, is some blue burlap that we can use later. And so I hope you enjoy this salty but sweet project. And for our last project today, it's called Nautical Rope. Get it? Uh -huh. We're making some knots. And so I'm going to start out with some wood slats that I never find at Dollar Tree. And I got these at Walmart. And so I'm going to be using some tower blocks and some Waverly uh, chalk paint in the antique color. So I'm going to use these blocks to um, put those slats together like we did in our very first project. And then I'm going to use some of these Kleenex wet wipes. You can also use some baby wipes and I'm gonna use it to apply the antique wax. And I love this technique because it sort of wipes on the wax, the antique wax, and at the same time wipes it off. So it's kind of like wax on, wax off. <laughs> and so I love this. I saw some other crafters doing this and I thought how brilliant. And at the end, it also washes your hands off or it gets that stuff off your hands. So use some of those to create or to add your wax or to your, add. anyway, we're on to the next thing. And here are my knots. I created these watching some uh, YouTube videos and I'm gonna link those down below so that you can follow along and create them. Because it was a little, I don't know, the rope that, that I used here is probably not the best to make these knots but it's Dollar Tree rope and that's what I wanted to use and uh, but it worked out great I thought they came out super cute and now I'm using some plumbers tape I wanted black but I don't know I didn't have it and so this gray worked out perfectly just to tie up the ends and make them look nice and again I just picked out three um, YouTube videos that I thought were easy enough to create those knots with and you'll have fun doing it because they're super short it's like a minute long or 30 seconds long to show how to do these um, knots so the first one I created was the bowline I thought it was bowline but nope he says bowline so it's a, one of the easiest knots and they use it a lot for um, just creating things to hold on to this is the scaffold knot and then this one is a snake knot it was really neat how she did it um, if you had more rope you just keep going with the loops and it makes this really cool thing i think she said they use them on bracelets and things so i loved it it was really fun to sit there and learn how to make some knots some nautical nautical knots <laughs> 
And so I just hot glued that on our board and there you go. I was showing you that you could add the names down below, but it's a conversational piece, right? And that somebody may ask you what kind of knots they are and you'll be in the know. So we are just putting a hanger on and this is complete. This was a ball to create. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love how it turned out. It's so cute. And what a great conversational piece, right? And have your kids create some knots and see what they can come up with and have them watch some YouTube videos. I know they know how. And so they can create them as well. So I hope you enjoyed this wonderful nautical rope. I am so glad you joined me today and I hope you had a relaxing time watching and doing some of these projects. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. I love your comments. They are so sweet, so helpful. Let me know how you, how you feel about everything. And I usually comment right back to you pretty quickly. And I just wanna thank you for subscribing and all my new subscribers. And so I appreciate everything and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Susie's Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.